Okay, the next piece I'm going to take a look at is something called WP Edit. And when we're looking at a page or a post up here, this is a small toolbar. It's called the Tiny MCE, and it's driven by code. But depending on the, the tool that you're using, it, you could find a Tiny MCE toolbar in Moodle, WordPress, Joomla, um, a, a whole bunch of different places on the web. So the concept of Tiny MCE toolbars is all over the place. And of course in WordPress you can toggle layers of toolbars open and closed. So these are the basics, right? Um, however, if you... Um, <clears throat> let me jump over to plugins. If you download and install other Tiny MCE toolbars, you can get additional functionality. Now, some of them work great, some of them don't work great, some of them crash your site. So hopefully you have learned how to make a backup and you have also learned how to recover from a bad plugin. But I've downloaded and installed this one called WP Edit and it seems to work fine for me. I'm going to go ahead and click on Activate. Now there are a whole bunch of, of tools here that um, give you all sorts of options and of course one of the best ones is to reset the whole thing right but what this is doing here is if you have only purchased or have only downloaded the freebie which is what I'm suggesting you do um, you're going to get these types of options right here so if you can take a look at mine under the editor row I have a bold italic uh, cross out etc Okay, here is our editing screen for WP Edit. There's a couple different kinds of things I could do. The first one I want to play with is just the buttons. Up here is the row of buttons that you can actually interact with. And if I pop over here and take a look here, um, that is the core information that you get within WordPress, right? So you really can't touch that. However, down here, these are um, placeholders of different things that you can add to your toolbar should you want to. And I find some of these pretty helpful. So for example, if I wanted to add a font family, instead of trying to go into HTML and specify it, I can simply drag it up to the toolbar. Uh, some of the other things that are kind of fun to play with, you know, our little um, smiley icon guy. Um, and then there's this little background color picker. Now this is not the background for the page, but rather for the text. So I'm going to uh, throw that up there. And then let's go take a look at... Um, I'm going to go ahead and save this. And then there are some other things here, of course, that you know you could play with. I'm not even quite sure what this formats does, but um, you can look at um, block um, the paragraph information. You could go right to HTML from here. You could have a print button on there, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and pop over to my page and take a look at my toolbar. Now I'm just refreshing this page because I've made some changes. And so now here I have some additional choices. So for example, if I wanted to grab a font directly from here, I could. Again, instead of trying to um, write the HTML code, this is a great way to do it. Um, that um, background stuff here. I'm going to go to white on that. And then if I wanted to obviously reverse that, I would highlight it and come down to say orange. Okay, that's a terrible choice, but there you go. So in any case, that's how um, you can enhance your toolbars and um, make WordPress a little bit more functional for yourself.